Hello, and welcome to Revolutions, the show where we get into the details of the gear industry. I'm your host, Randy Stott, and I'm here today with Tom Ware from Star SU. Good Thanks morning. for joining me, Tom. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about tool coatings. Correct. And uh, in particular, the uh, new Altensa coating that's offered by Balzers and, and through, available through Star SU. Yes. Uh, how is Altensa different from previous tool coating generations? Well, I, I view Altenza as being the next generation from the Alcrona coating mm -hmm. um, in their efforts to continue to improve the performance. What they've done is taken the basic Alcrona coating and then added a top layer, which gives it added hardness and, and heat resistance. And so that's, that's the direction they're going. Mm -hmm. So it's become kind of the next best thing on the marketplace. Okay. So what are the advantages of Altenza in terms of tool speed and tool life? Well, basically what they were looking for is uh, something in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 percent increase in uh, speed mm -hmm. so that for the dry, especially for the dry cutting applications, they, they're looking for shorter cycle times, which mm -hmm. higher RPMs of the tool relate that to uh, the shorter cycle times almost on a one-to-one -one basis. Mm -hmm. So. Therefore, they want to be able to run the tools faster at about the same length of, of time. Unfortunately, a lot of customers aren't in a position to be able to run that fast of a speed, mm -hmm. or it becomes a little more difficult to control. So most customers have kind of done the balancing act between a higher speed and a longer tool life. What gear cutting applications is Altensa well suited for? Again, the best, the, the, the most popular has been the, the dry high speed cutting, but we have, have found that in certain other applications in wet hobbing and or shaping mm -hmm. of uh, pre-hardened materials, the quench and tempers, that, that mid-30 uh, Rockwell mm -hmm. material that, that the coating actually performs quite well in, in those type of applications. It was, it was somewhat of an unexpected bonus when uh, out of kind of out of a, it was one of those out of desperation, you, you, you got to try something to mm -hmm. see if you can't make it better and, uh, and it actually has performed quite well for, for several customers. Mm -hmm. What about uh, skiving tools? It primarily, yes, we are also seeing it in the scudding, skiving, power skiving area as well. Mm -hmm. Again, because you're talking about a fairly high speed cut of the tool, rotation of the tool and quite a bit of, of tool pressure at the tips of those tools. And, and again, that added hardness of the coating has improved the performance of those tools as well. Mm -hmm. Can it be used on reconditioned tools? And are yep. there any special considerations with that? Yes, and I mean, it, like any other coating, it, it needs to be um, stripped after each reconditioning cycle so that if I strip a tool down to this, its bare metal anyway, I can take a tool that was using tin or, mm -hmm. or Alcrona and recoat it with, with Altenza. So there isn't that need to start with a brand new tool okay. if you want to give it a test. Again, the same conditions apply there. The better the the, uh, the surface of the of the tool, uh, the better the performance is, is sure. going to be of that coating. Sure. So it, it goes hand in hand in with with what we're headed for relative to mm -hmm. the deburring and edge prepping. Okay. Is there anything a gear manufacturer can do to maximize the effectiveness of tools with this coating? I think you, you have to take a look at these tools and, and, and consider each individual application separately. It, it, we've had a, a, where we've had failures has been in those situations where the customer has come in and said, I want to coat mm -hmm. everything with this coating. And, and then they're somewhat disappointed because it doesn't perform to their expectation. So it really becomes a one where you, you have to look at each individual application. In some cases, you can get an extremely high increase in, in the RPM uh, mm -hmm. and reduce that cycle time. But in other cases, it's more the other direction. One of the first large applications that we had with the Altenza coating was a situation where the customer had a locked 
cycle time because it was a hob and shave mm -hmm. um, cell. So they really, there was no, and it was held, it was controlled by the shaver. So there was no way to increase the hob sure. cycle time and take advantage of it that way. But the coating allowed them a 35% increase in pieces per, mm -hmm. per sharpening. So not only was there, re, was there a reduction in, in their tool costs, but, but also the tool tame change downtime that they were mm -hmm. experiencing because of the, they, you know, that's one less trip a day basically to the gear lab for sure. So it, it was a significant savings for them as well. Okay, very good. So how can a gear manufacturer take advantage of these new coatings? Well, the best thing is to contact the, the tool supplier and work with them to, to, to go through the uh, analysis of the cost evaluation. I mean, the coating is not cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is a, it is an upper end coating, so it, it, it does carry a, a premium price on it, but around 25 to 30 percent higher than, than even the Alcrona coating. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is a fairly costly item, especially for the larger tools. So to be able to, to do that, eva that value evaluation, you need to, to work with the supplier to develop not only the feeds and speeds, but the shifting strategy mm -hmm. in, as well. And is there a brand name that you use that, for your tools where that coating is already included? Uh, no, really okay. not. We, we, we uh, because of our relationship with, with Walzers, we, we, we offer it as through the, you know, under the Altenza name. Okay, very good. Tom, thank you very much for right. taking the time today. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.